Let's talk about the left hand now. Let's bring the arm up. Now the first thing is that we want to play right on the fingertip itself. So the finger has to be rounded. And with the left hand there are a lot of angles to consider. For instance, let's place our fingers right on the fingertips and let's take it on the third string. The first angle would be this one to consider. When we straighten out our fingers, they should be roughly parallel to the frets themselves. So we don't want to see this kind of position, nor this position. Of course, there are always exceptions, and depending on the demands of the music, sometimes we have to contort our hands into these various shapes. But this is the norm, and one should strive for this. The other angle has to do with the angle that this digit meets the guitar itself. It should be primarily at a right angle, as opposed to being flat like that, or overextended like this. As we roll over, we put a lot of tension on the wrist. If we come too flat, we can't get as clean a stop with as, less, uh, with as least effort. So we want to make sure that we're right on the fingertip. And um, if you press down on the strings hard, and you look at your fingers, you'll see that the string should go right through the center of the pad of the finger. Now, one of the most common mistakes in playing the guitar is to grip too hard. It's not that necessary to use that much pressure. And a good uh, exercise is to start with the finger just touching the string, and then gently pushing down, and finding out exactly how much pressure it takes to produce a clean stop. You'll be surprised to see how little it actually takes. We usually spend so much energy gripping the guitar. So we were talking about these angles. Another angle that is important is the angle of the thumb. So we don't want the thumb to be in this position. We want it to support the fingers in this fashion, roughly between the first and second finger. Some, some people are a little more comfortable with it one way or the other. But you want to avoid stretching the thumb all the way out, let's say, to the third finger. That puts a lot of tension and um, pressure on this part of the hand. It's not going to feel good for any length of time. When you're playing on the first string, you want your thumb to be down low behind the first finger. As we move up on the guitar, we inch our thumb up. You don't have to do it every string. Sometimes every two strings is enough. But by the time we get to the sixth string, we have our finger behind our thumb, that is, behind the fingers, supporting them. So we avoid this kind of movement, or this, which is uh, popular in jazz and pop guitar. With classical guitar, we stay in this position and move like this. The elbow is very important. As we shift the elbow in, we, it affects the angle of the left hand. And if we bring it out, that also affects the angle. We want to stay with this right angle position, whether we're up here or down in the first position. And the arm and the elbow will determine that. So if we come too far this way, in addition to putting ourselves out of position, we put a lot of tension on the shoulder. If we come too far in, then we're it's very hard to stretch out and stop the notes cleanly. So here's an exercise that we can do, which can uh, be helpful in learning this. Let's start on the fifth fret. And go very slowly, always on the fingertip, and also play on the outside of the fret, meaning this side of the fret. If we come in, much harder to stop the string cleanly. As we go to the outside of the fret, we can use less pressure. And you want to practice this exercise very slowly. There's no value in playing this fast. Hold your fingers down until you need them for the next note. Most people have a tendency to play with the fourth finger flat, and that's not good. We want to get up on the fingertip. So 
Another advantage of practicing slowly is to give yourself the time to see that you're doing it correctly. And you should be having your thumb moving up to support the fingers. Now we're ready to shift. And when we shift, we move the whole hand. We don't want to see the fingers get bunched together or leaving the thumb behind. So we've just done that and we move the whole hand. And you can continue the exercise downward. Whoops, hold down. Then you would shift upward and continue on. Now if you're totally comfortable playing with the, uh, in the fifth position, then you can start the exercise down in the first position. There's a little more stretch involved and that will be good. But you never want to strain. So uh, if that's not comfortable, then start in the fifth fret.